Hi everybody, it's Joe from Chilili, where we celebrate water in the garden. Today we're going to cover unpacking a shallow water plant that you ordered from us online. We're going to go through the steps on how to unpack that plant, what to do if you can't plant it right away, and also all the easy steps to make you successful in the water garden world. I want to thank you first for ordering from Chilili. We appreciate it very much. Now, when your package arrives, perhaps you can't unpack it and plant it the same day. If you, that's the case, all you want to do is leave your package in a cool, shaded area. If you have AC indoors, that's a great place. If not, outside in the shade is the key. All right, your package has finally arrived. Chalili sent you a top quality water plant. Let's take a look. When you get your package, the first thing you'll notice is a beautiful postcard. This postcard says thank you. Gives you a little photo of our entire family. Chalili's a small business and we thank you for your support. If you leave us a review, that'll help us grow. The next thing you'll notice is detailed instructions. It's specific to that group of plants. We're gonna do some shallow water plants, so here's all the steps. If by chance I forgot to put this in your box, check us out at chalili.com and you'll find a link to these directions. This particular order, I ordered a chameleon plant. So let's go ahead and unwrap it. So once you unpack your plant, it's time for planting. Chalili, we send all our plants bare root. What does that mean? That means when it's growing in the greenhouse, we pull it out of its container, hose off all the soil, and send that plant to you with bare roots. Today's the day we're gonna plant our water plants that we got from Chalili. We're gonna choose a container that's gonna fill out nicely. This is a 10 inch holeless pot. That means it has zero holes. I choose that because of the soil I choose. I choose Chalili Aquatic Gold Soil. This is the best aquatic soil on the market. It's specifically made for aquatic plants. Okay, I'm all done potting this sucker up and it's time to do some fertilization. We have a Chalili fertilizer, which is specifically formulated for water plants, won't cause algae, and won't cause harm to the fish. So in this size container, I'm gonna throw two tablets in there. Just push them in, pinch the soil over the top. Now it's time to take this to the pond. All right, our final step is to add our plant to the pond. We wanna slowly lower this into the water. That way our soil doesn't get mixed up with the, water, the pond water and make the pond muddy. Nice and slow. There are other methods to planting your water plants and we're going to show you one now. So that first technique that we showed you was if you're going to plant your water plants in a container and place that container right into the pond. Some folks like to plant their plants right in the pond if they have rocks and gravel. I'm going to show you how to plant this pickerel in our stream. So in this stream we have just a few inches of water and I've chosen pickerel and we're just going to plant this by moving a few of the pieces of gravel out of the way. That rubber liner is underneath, laying those roots out and then putting some stone on top to hold it in place. An advantage of doing it this way, it's quick and easy, and we don't see a container in the water. A disadvantage of it is as this pickerel grows over the years, that mass is gonna get larger and larger and larger, and sooner or later, I'm gonna to have to divide it. So we've covered a couple techniques on planting shallow water plants when you order them from Chilili. We've done a chameleon plant in a container, placed it in the pond. We've also planted a pickerel directly in the pond. Whichever technique suits you, that's fine with me. If you have more questions, grab that postcard that we talked about earlier, or just leave us a thumbs up review. I do thank you for watching. Check us out at chalili.com, Facebook, or Instagram. 